We've got a new Hytale blog post, so obviously I'm obligated to make a video on it. I don't make a video every time they do a blog post. They seem to do it once a week. I try to do it when it's something that's more interesting for a video. Sorry, Hytale people, I'm not saying that all your blog posts aren't interesting. I'm just saying, like, when you have one that's about pieces of music, I can't just, like, sit there and listen to the music, because YouTube and music, oh, they don't always go super nicely with each other. But this time, we have something about creating a point of interest, which looks to me like a boss encounter. And the post isn't so much about like the different boss encounters you'll be facing. It's more about the, the development of each one of these encounters you could experience in the game. However, I think that it demonstrates something that's happening in Hytale, which is something that Minecraft is sort of missing, which are these random structures that you can stumble upon in the world and have new, exciting encounters with them. So here, in this particular blog post, they're detailing this um, earth rock shrine structure thing that I'm assuming you'll be able to do something with on this altar in the middle here, and it'll spawn a boss. They say it's some kind of combat experience that takes place here. They just don't unveil exactly what that will be and probably won't until people are actually playing the game, which can we play yet? And you keep saying it'll be ready when it's ready, which I suppose is a good mentality to have unless the game is going to be ready in 10 years. Can't hold off that long, guys. All right, let's make it summer. Summer would be fantastic. I hope that's what you're planning, but I guess we'll see. So anyway, now that my plea to the developers is over, uh, it's cool though. So we have a, a few concept arts that they've shown here for different locations of these different combat boss spawn shrines and stuff. So I guess, I don't know if this is all within zone one or if this will be within all the different zones in the world, but it's like the earth one is what they're focusing on here. This circular place with an altar in the middle. I don't know if this is supposed to spell out a word or something here, or what that has to do with it. There's a fire one, which looks very demonic, a frost one. Sand one looks very minimalist for now, but there's probably more to it as time goes by and they actually add it into the game. What I did think is kind of cool about this though, is that they're saying that once they come up with a concept and an artist kind of sketches it, the way they actually make the thing is they just go into their game world and they build it. It's like having a, a build team that you do for Minecraft maps or something like that, except you're actually developing the game itself by building things inside of it, which seems really cool to me because generally you think about game development, right? And you think about, I don't know, you're in Unity or whatever engine you're using and you're using the modeling software and you're building a world that way. You don't really think about actually going inside of the game itself that you built in your engine and then actually building the world using the game mechanics that you've also created. I don't know, many games out there, they might do it already. I'm not familiar, but it seems pretty cool to me that you can use the tools of building in the game to make the game itself. I don't know, kind of nifty. Cause like, take Fortnite for example, cause that's a pretty popular game right now. The map is built using their, their game engine software, not going into the game in creative mode and assembling structures. Although, obviously now they have that block thing and so some of the stuff that's created in creative mode by players does go into the game, but different story. You get what I mean. And then they can go back and forth and the artist can be like, whoa, 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 this is sort of what I envisioned with the structure that you built. You did a good job executing it, but honestly, kind of sucks. Go back to the drawing board, you guys, try again. I had a creative vision here and you have ruined it with what you built in the game. I'm sure that's how their exchanges go. Back and forth like that is insulting each other and arguing back and forth and not being cooperative at all. So then the artist can like give a little paint here and say, hey, this is, I envisioned it wrapping around a little bit more of a full circle rather than a semicircle. And then the builders can just go and be like, all right, for sure, dude, I got you more of a full circle than a semicircle. And then look at this freaking thing. Emerald looking altar, gonna spawn some kind of earth golem. I bet, can't wait for the fire one too. That's gonna be, that's gonna be sweet. Oh man, see though, this, this is the sort of stuff that I feel like Minecraft is missing and why mods are so important to Minecraft is that you just, you know, there's only so many random events and experiences you can stumble upon while walking through the world. Like you can find a desert temple, but those are all pretty similar. You can find a village and then there's obviously, you know, a stronghold. You can work your way towards the end or nether fortresses, things like that. But it's, it's pretty limited. They go on to show like a few more examples here. You have a, a ruined settlement. You've got yourself a, a trork. I'll never be able to pronounce that properly. Watchtower, 
Those things look pretty intimidating, by the way. And then a crumbling castle. And they say right up here that they have built thousands of prefabs so far. And I can only speculate that some of those prefabs will be able to be like procedurally generated so that they connect to each other in different ways or they can stretch in X and Z directions, X, Y, Z directions, I don't know, so that they can change sizes, things like that, depending upon what the structure is. And it's like, that that's just, there's so much to do, it sounds like. And it's something that mods create, obviously, in Minecraft. Things like the old, you know, uh, what's it, Hexit mod pack that we played so many years ago with all the dungeons you can find in the world and explore. But they are added sort of after the fact rather than baked into the game. So to have all this stuff that's like in the game from the get go, and then I'm sure that mods can be used to add in tons and tons more that the players build as they wish to do so. And you can like download more stuff. It's just, it just seems like there's so much. And I don't know, I would, as just perhaps a, a point of feedback to any of the high Hytale high devs out there, like you could randomize the boss encounters that you experience in these structures so that the bosses could have different health, they could have like different size, different attack damages so that every single encounter is a little bit different. And then maybe every now and again, you run into like a shiny boss, right? To bring the Pokemon analogy in there. And then that shiny boss will be like extra difficult, but it'll also drop some super crazy loot that you can't get otherwise. I like getting really cool loot. I really strive for that. It makes games like really, I wanna hit up all of these earth dungeon structures because eventually I'm gonna find the shiny boss and I'm gonna get whatever that item is that's super dope and I'm gonna be able to obliterate everything from that point on and it's gonna be awesome. Until the next shiny boss comes along, it's even more difficult. So that's what I would recommend. You might already be planning on doing it, but you know, here's me saying that, hey, can we, can we get our hands on the game? But also here's some new stuff that would definitely delay the release of anything for a long time if you chose to implement all the things that I'm mentioning here. So I realize I'm stepping on my own toes, but also I do want it to be cool. And I am rooting for your success because hopefully lots of people will watch it on YouTube and all that stuff and things. So anyway, I am, I'm looking forward to this because it just, I don't know. We've speculated on it before. I didn't say anything. What do you think? I am what? You're so, oh my God, you're so dumb. I said I didn't prompt you. Okay, anyway, anyway, continuing along. Maybe it's just like April Fools or something that she responds when not prompted. Might be what's going on there. So I'm just stoked to have a bunch of things that you can find in the world and do and bosses and hopefully progressive loot and randomized encounters implement it thank you guys much appreciate it also i want to play the game tomorrow so that's cool too can we have both absolutely you guys are wizards so anyway that's it just a little bit of stuff with their uh boss spawning altars i know that wasn't exactly the point of the post it was more on how they make them but still i can extrapolate so anyway now can i play the game hit me up cool stuff bros uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch any other Hytale videos and things like that, there's a playlist. You can check it out. Like if you like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you next time.